Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, and welcome back to A Hat in Time with me, Sam, and you, you. Today, we're going for some of the really easy to get achievements in A Hat in Time. Um, they're achievements that you probably should have got just by playing through the game, but, you know, make a video on them anyway, because why the fuck not? So without any further fanfare, let's get right into this. Okay, so first up, we've got Let There Be Light. So this is the achievement you get for actually restoring power to the spaceship. Um, so the only way to do that is to collect the first time piece of the first mission in Mafia Town. Um, so it's not overly challenging at all, uh, and you should get it by just playing through the game anyway. So you just pick up the time piece and it'll take you back to the ship. So that will happen now. Grab the time piece. Back to the ship. And then you just click the panel. And that should, in theory, <laughs> Uh, give you the achievement Let there be light because all the lights come on and then you get access to Mafia Town So that's sort of like the gist with that achievement, right? What's up next? Mafia Town all clear I think yeah, so you get that just by clearing all the zones in Mafia Town Battle of the Birds all clear same principle just clear all of the zones in that Same with Subcon Forest all clear just beat every level and going to be the same for Alpine Skyline. Now, put a badge on it. You get this just by acquiring your first badge. Uh, I did it just by picking up uh, 50 ponds on my way to this guy. Uh, and the first level as well. Really easy to get. There are a couple of other free ones that don't require any ponds. And we'll show some of them later. Badge Master. So for this you're going to need two pins and three badges. So here's the first pin. You get it from the final boss mission of Mafia Town. Uh, well, not the final boss mission, but the boss mission. So that's one badge pin. The other one you get from Alpine Skylines. Please And that's 200 ponds. So there we go. And once you have those two pins, you need at least three badges. So on top of the one I have, I got the free one from Subcon Forest, the hookshot badge. And I also got the free one from Mafia Town. And then you can just plug them in the pin slots. And that's three badges. There's your achievement. Right. False Detective and True Detective. Uh, if you watch the series, uh, you'll know how to get True Detective because I got all of the evidence in that one. Um, the idea basically is to either pick up all of the evidence or none of it and that will give you both achievements But you have to do it in two separate runs. So for this run I was doing False detective I think and um, so that means just picking up nothing makes the game significantly quicker uh, The level is so much faster. It took like two minutes um, Maybe maybe a bit more I can't remember it took a little little bit less time than it would if you were actually picking up the notes and then you just guess essentially who the who the murderer is uh, without any evidence. So you know, there's that. Here we go. You'll only have one option, and it's going to be the conductor. So there you go. That's how you do the um, achievement. If you don't pick up any evidence, you'll get the the false detective. If you get all of them, you'll get the true detective. Pretty self-explanatory. And then that's the ending. You just How'd you it was me? Hmm? have a little Thanks conversation like with the conductor about how he did it. Movie. But yeah. I've never yeah, seen the conductor ending now. before, really. I think I skipped through it when I was doing the achievements. But they all end the same way. Like, it doesn't matter who you pick, well, which is fun I'm enough. And then if you just pick up the timepiece, like that should definitely make sure you've had the achievement then. Because the level's complete. It's all done. Lastly, the return home achievement. Just got to complete the game, really. You need all 40 timepieces, which as you can see I have up there. So just do every level. It's pretty simple. So that'll wrap it up for this time, folks. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.